The BP Whiting Refinery and Wildlife Habitat Council have had a long-standing relationship, but now BP has decided they want to leverage out into the community. So they've taken to heart the mission that Wildlife Habitat Council is, and that's educating the general population. It's reaching out to people that aren't necessarily associated with the membership of our company and educating them on what is the value of a native environment. They granted some funds and resources to Wildlife Habitat to develop an in-classroom setup where the wildlife habitat biologists, along with some of the BP employees, would work with students specifically on how to design a garden and then how to build a garden. We took a group of students who needed an extra push in their education, um, applied for this project and we were lucky enough to get it. So an hour a day we work on things like not just the garden itself but career skills like speaking in front of people, writing resumes, cover letters, um, skills that transfer beyond high school, beyond the classroom. They had to write a number of letters to various bodies, newspapers, media people, BP executives, community representatives of various agencies here in the area and the region. So they were working on writing skills, communication skills. They had to do a lot of interviewing in their different committees. So I think we saw every area of the core curriculum brought into um, connection for this. Our, our children have benefited uh, behaviorally. They are taking a lot more pride in their work. Um, they're recognizing that their work is not just for in the classroom anymore. Uh, it's not a piece of paper you have to fill out to get a good grade from the teacher. It is something that can be real and can be implemented in their community. And they have a really renewed sense of community from this project because they've seen what support adults in the community are willing to give to them. This is where when you see all your community with each other, socializing, planning a garden for downtown Hammond. To me, this really warms my heart to know that so many people came to support our new building, and that's really good. Some of these kids didn't feel like they were being successful, and they were. They're great kids, and, and to see the smiles on their faces and just watch them right now giving directions to these adults and stepping in, and these were kids that if you saw them the first day that we started the project to now, the transformation is just unbelievable. Um, they've just come out of their shells. When I'm in like a whole big classroom, I don't talk. So that's the one thing I actually really did learn how to communicate more. I've been focusing more a lot. Like this helps me focus a lot on some one thing, so it helps me in, in other classes. Before I would be really shy and I wouldn't want to talk to people that get interviewed, so now it's better. Not only do you change the child's perspective on nature, you get them out of the classroom, you teach them skills of math, science, English, but you get them having a pride of ownership. So now when they go to the schools and they pull up in the morning, they can point out to their parents, that's the garden or the park that I built. That's my part of this school. This will forever be a part of their lives and the community so the parents have a sense of pride. Suddenly it's a leveraging effect. It's a ripple effect of not just one plant, one species, but a garden, a park, a student, a class, and then eventually the entire community.